Cool. Thank you for tuning in. If you don't know who I am, well, that's not all that surprising. I have about 45 subscribers. But anyways, we're trying to increase that number. Let's see if we can do that. All right, guys, my name's Eric. Today we're gonna be doing just a little review on the AGV Casanova helmet. Now, I've been looking at helmets now for quite some time, and uh, I finally uh, bit the bullet and decided to go with the uh, AGV Casanova. It's the uh, Corsa R helmet, and um, been trying on a lot of helmets. I've tried on a lot of the Shoei helmets, the Array helmets, because I wanted something of higher quality uh, than what I'm normally riding with. I did used to ride with Icon, which again, I think they actually make a very nice helmet, especially for the price range. So anyone that's starting out riding and whatnot, or even long-term riders, I highly recommend Icon. I've had no issues with their, uh, their helmets at all. But again, I just wanted to kind of upgrade um, up to something a little higher quality. So I tried the Shoeys, I've tried the Arrays. For the price point, uh, something that I actually find with the graphics, because come on, let's be honest, obviously you want something safe, but you want it to look cool too. I mean, <laughs> we're all riders, we all know. Um, so I was looking at some of the Arrays and the Shoeys and for the price range I was at around that $900 Canadian mark, I just figured for a couple hundred bucks more, I'm gonna get exactly what I want, um, which is why I went with the AGV. What I, the big selling point on this was essentially the angle of attack. Since I ride um, a Yamaha R6, my head is usually down in a crouched position. What's nice with this helmet, as you can see, is that the angle that your head would be at is actually the visor is still straight, so you're still getting all that view. I noticed with my other helmets that a lot of times my forehead here was actually blocking and I was having to actually strain my eyes um, trying to look straight out. Um, so that's something that I'm definitely looking forward to. The other thing that's nice about this is that if you are going to the track and you're reaching higher speeds, your helmet normally intends to want to nose dip uh, down and the wind's actually gonna come by, grab this wing and actually push your helmet back up, which is kind of a nice feature. I'll see how well that works. Um, the other thing that's nice too is if you do get into an accident, a lot of the times, obviously, the big fear is a neck injury with a motorcycle, which is very likely to happen. So what's nice with these is that you do have the pull-away tabs that uh, the first responders will be able to actually pull these, which removes all the foot uh, cushion and allows the helmet to come right off your head without causing any more injury to your neck. <clears throat> it also has the interior liner that is reversible. So you've got, you can place it one way for cold weather and you can place it the other for warm weather riding, which I think is kind of a pretty neat feature. I mean, here on the West Coast um, in Canada, we are, can ride year round, but obviously in the months of January and whatnot, it is getting a little colder. So it is nice to have that feature to be able to swap that around. Uh, the one drawback I'd say with the helmet is it only comes with a clear lens. With that said, I mean, obviously that's the most generic way to do it. Um, that's gonna make everyone else happy and then you can always buy another lens, or sorry, another visor, which in this case I did. I always go with either a tinted, a smoked out, kind of the Iridium uh, visor, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. Obviously you, uh, UV protection, scratch resistant, five millimeters thick, nice locking tab there as well. Here you'll, I don't know what it is, but I mean, it's it's a lot nicer than any of the other uh, carrying cases I've had with any of my other helmets. So I mean, that's that's kind of nice. I like it. It also comes with some tearaway uh, visor strips, which is kind of nice. I mean, I don't know how much I'm really gonna use them on the, uh, the street, but I guess, I mean, you could install them if you want, but really nice to have in the track. You do have a fog resistance lens that's gonna go on, I believe, the inside of the visor. Um, just to prevent that fog, which, I mean, I've never had that in any of my other helmets, so I think that's kind of cool. Have a couple other attachments here, just some manuals that uh, you can uh, use, I guess, how to probably take care of your helmet, how to wash it, um, and whatnot. Helmet comes and weighs in at 3.63 pounds, and it does come in multiple uh, shell sizes. So you're gonna get, I believe it's six different sizes, um, but only four different shell sizes. So the medium shell size, you can get medium small or medium large. This is the medium large, um, which fits absolutely great. It's gonna break in a bit, which at that point now it's, we're laughing. Um, so 
Not really gonna go too much more into it. The only reason I kind of like wanted to do this video is because I noticed if you Google pictures and, and whatnot of this helmet, you're not getting an exact copy of what the colors are. Not really a, a very true representation I found. So hopefully this allows you to see kind of the colors, kind of see the design as well as the visor. And uh, you guys can kind of make your decision on it. The price point's a bit high in my opinion, but compared to a lot of the helmets that I'm seeing, it's not a whole lot different. Um, and the quality of the helmet you're getting, I mean, you get what you pay for. So go on their website, check out all the specs and whatnot uh, for this helmet. And I don't think you'll be disappointed whether you're a beginner rider or you're an advanced rider, if you only ride track or you only ride street. I think it's kind of an all around helmet. Again, it's just what you want to spend and if you have the money. I mean, they make a whole range, a uh, whole assortment of different helmets from price ranges anywhere from 250 Canadian all the way up to like, I believe $2,500 uh, for their helmets. So yeah, very happy. Uh, we're gonna give this, uh, we're gonna throw the intercom system onto this bad boy and uh, go take it out for a ride. Okay, so hopefully this uh, video kind of give you a bit more of an idea of what, uh, what you guys would like to see in a helmet. If you guys like the video, hit that like or hit that dislike, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, trying to get to 100, and uh, let's go ride. Be safe, guys.